This is the largest set that Husky makes. When I say a largest set, what I mean is with a handle that you can grab, pick up, take out to your garage, and work on your car with. Now you could obviously get the 7 million piece set that they have, but they need a box to put it in. And as you can see, I don't have any place to put that. So I wanted something like this, or like this. Now to start with, I got this Stanley set. Why? Because I've always really loved Stanley. The last set I have was Stanley, and it got stolen. So the first thing I did was I looked for another Stanley set. This is the largest set that Stanley makes. A lot of tools, but unfortunately, it does not have all the tools that you need to actually work on a car. What I mean by that, let's say you want to work on uh, your brakes. So you're going to need a 13 millimeter wrench, an 18 millimeter wrench, and yeah, some sockets maybe. So 13 millimeter wrench. Nope. 18 millimeter. Nope. Eight, nine, ten, and twelve. That's the most useless set if you're going to be working on a vehicle. All right, ten, thirteen, and fifteen are the most common on, we'll say, a Dodge make vehicle. Ten, thirteen, and fifteen. Might also need an eight. So out of that, I've got one wrench that I can use. Let's say uh, I want to take. The tire off. It's a large socket. As you can see here, by looking at this, I'm not even close to being able to make that happen. The largest that I've got in the socket is 19. Doesn't even come close. This right here is a wrench that I always keep with it because if I ever have to use something and I need to be able to put a cheater bar on it, I need to have this because none of these wrenches are large enough to use this cheetah bar. It won't fit over the end of this. To buy this set to use it, I need to have this. If you're looking at buying a set for your car so that you can work on your car, this is not going to do it. It's the largest set that they make like this. I was extremely disappointed when I got it. So disappointed that I went out and got that. It's not all terrible. What I mean by that is I still believe that the Stanley tools are extremely good. One thing I really liked about these tools in particular is that if you take care of them, you always wipe them down before you put them back. Like, I'm actually a little bit freaking out because I touched some of these tools right now. I got a paper towel and I'm going to be wiping them down as soon as I'm done. Because I'm obsessive compulsive like that. But I've always believed if you take care of your tools, your tools will take care of you. And Stanley's always done that. If you take care of them and you wipe them down when you're done, they don't rust. But if you just, you know, change your coolant and then throw them back in, they're going to rust, of course. Whereas Husky, I've been using this for a couple weeks. And there's already scratches. See right there, a little wear mark, and that's not something I can wipe off. That's uh, permanent scuff. I take tools like this and you know, I'll put it on there and use it as a cheater bar, and so it's going to get knocked around. But as long as I've had Stanley, I've never had scuffs. These ones actually scrape off. When that chrome scrapes off, that leaves it open to the elements, and it's going to rust. That will happen eventually. It's unfortunate, but it does have all the tools I need. One thing about Husky that I forgot to mention about the ratchets that I really don't like, you got a socket and you're laying on the ground, you got your one hand on the compressor and the other hand on the ratchet and you got the wrong size socket on there. So you got to take the socket and you got to just jam the ratchet on. Well, it doesn't just go on. Even if we got it kind of seated, it's just not on, so you have to press the button with one hand, get it down, and then it's right there. You would say, okay, that's on, right? Well, it's not because you have to pull it off a little bit. You see this button here? It's actually pushed in a little bit because the actual seating for these is out. So if you're trying to do that with one hand, it's not a hassle really, but it's more than you should have to do. With the Stanleys, I can just take it, go over here, push down, and it'll be on. But with these, it just doesn't feel right. And let's say you've got your hand in a weird place. 
that you finally got the socket on top of the bolt that you needed to get it on top of, but then you find out, oh man, this, the ratchet is going the wrong direction. I want it to loosen, but it's tightening. So, normally you should just be able to reach over here and flip this to the side, one side or the other. And it works like this, but when you have any kind of torque on here, so this thing is tight, for example, you put it on there and the ratchet is just like holding onto there, and you try and flip it to the side, it doesn't always want to go. I did it for that time, but I'm going to tighten it. See, it does, it's locked. I can't get it to move at all. Now, that might be the way that they intended to do it, but for me, it, it makes things more complicated than they have to be, which is a problem that Stanley does not have. I don't, uh, I don't feel like they're going to break. They might, but I don't feel like they are. I have yet to round off a bolt with them, although these are 12-point sockets for the half-inch driver. I will never use these. It's not going to happen. I mean, if you're going to use a half-inch driver, you're going to be putting a lot of torque on it anyway, and this is going to round off your bolt. It's just not going to happen. Every other socket, on the other hand, is a regular six-point. These are your 3 8 inch sockets, half-inch, and then over here, the quarter-inch and the deep sockets. Now, these ones over here, all these will fall out. They're not locked in at all. But it's not really a problem because of the location. You pick this up, and they sit right inside there. These are all locked in. They've all got little pins, and they're just friction. So eventually that's going to wear out, and these will fall out too. But the wrenches are held in with little nubs that will hold the wrenches in, so I'm not worried about those falling out at all. All in all, I don't think this is going to fall out. Stanley, on the other hand, I used uh, my last Stanley set for a couple of years, and if I did that, I'd have tools everywhere. Now, this one seems to be pretty good for that. One thing I don't like about this set is this hood. If you open it up like this and just lay it down, it's going to put a lot of stress on this hinge, and if you put stress on the hinge over time, it will break eventually. What I've done is I took that piece out and put it here, and if I need anything from it, I can grab it, and then the hood sits on top of that. Kind of a design flaw. I don't really like that. I imagine you could just take it off entirely and lay your tools everywhere on a desk, but I don't have one. That's why I bought this. It works. Really, the ultimate set is going to be one where I take the ratchets out of the Stanley set and put them in here. Take the half-inch sockets out of the Stanley set, put them in here, and then use this. That's the best set. Zero's ratchets I'm not really impressed with. They get the job done. And they put up with a lot of abuse. I, I, that was one of the first things I did when I bought this. Was I wanted to see how strong it was. And if it broke, I was going to take it back. But it didn't. So it stood up to that. So there is that. Maybe that's why it's doing this. I don't know. But like I said, the Stanley never did that.